guys, don't think I haven't read the comments. I hear what you're saying. We want Jasmine, where's Jasmine? I miss Jasmine. I know, I'm here in Nanjing. And of course, who have I got with me today? Yay! Jasmine's back! Hello. It's so good to have Jasmine back on the channel. I'll explain why it's been quite a little bit of time since she's been here. Yes. We'll talk about that later. Mm -hmm. But uh, today I've actually asked if Jasmine could construct me a day of like a day in the life of Jasmine here in Nanjing. I mean, you're from Nanjing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what uh, you're going to show me around today? Yeah, I'm going to show Amy and all of you my POV of Nanjing. I mean, this city has a lot of size. So this is going to be how I spend my real life here in the city. So it might be different from the POV of a tourist. So let's start this day with the duck. So if you weren't aware, Nanjing is China's indisputed city of duck. It's estimated a whopping 100 million ducks are eaten here in the city every year. So starting our day with duck sounds right to me. So what did you just order for us? Um, so there are four quarters of the kaoya, of one kaoya. So we are ordering one of the top two quarters of kaoya. That's oh. the best for us. Yay! So what's the plan now, Jasmine? <laughs> we're going to a noodle place, which is really special because you'll see later. Oh, I love these streets. Got the trees, the dappled light. Man, I really love the trees here in Nanjing. So Jasmine, I want to know, what's your favorite thing about Nanjing? Well, it's really a hard question because you know, it means something to me because it's my hometown. I think Nanjing is a city which contains both of the vibe of chaos and modernity. Yeah. So, as you can see, we are in the vibe of chaos right now, in a good way. <laughs> yeah. Not that chaotic chaos, but like, you can feel the humanity and all the warm things here, and you can enjoy the convenience of life here. Um, but still, it's very modern. All the viral trends come to Nanjing very quickly, such as Chai Yin Yuzu, Shake Shack, so the young people can enjoy their lives as well. You know, Nanjing is historical, but still it can remain a modernity, which I think is precious. So Jasmine's leading us towards our lunch place for today. She's told me it's special, but has given no other hints, so I really have no idea what to expect. Did you see the crowd? There. Oh! Oh my gosh, there is, okay, guys, there is a huge crowd of people eating in the middle of this car park here. Is that where we're going to eat? Yes. So this is Guanji Pi Du Mian. Pretty much every Nanjingers know it. And it's been opening for over 15 years, I think. It's not a brand chain or anything. It's one and only store of Guanji Pi Du Mian here. It was only after ordering that I noticed just how big these bowls of noodle soup are. Next time, I'll be sharing a bowl for sure. What's the difference between Xiao San Xian and Da San Xian? I think the toppings are different. Da San Xian contains more toppings. Absolutely loving this. This is the restaurant here. It's so unassuming that the like where people eat is literally in a car park. How's the status on the table? Uh, we're waiting for this one. Well, the, the tip is that you need to like aim one goal. I mean, you have Not aimed. You're literally time. standing right here looking at them as they finish their noodles. This poor table here. Like giving the pressure to them. <laughs> A few moments later. The pressure worked, Jasmine. <laughs> so I can't help but looking at this duck we have here. Go ahead. You reckon we can have it while we <laughs> yeah. wait for our noodles? I mean, we're, we're in quite a long line right now. It's a very, very popular place. I mean, they've got this endless stream of bowls coming out of the kitchen. We're here on a weekday, so I can't imagine how busy they must be on the weekend. Oh, oh man, I have arrived, guys. I am officially in Nanjing. We're gonna dip the sauce. And oh my gosh, this sauce here is the reason I love Nanjing roast duck so much. So normally I like to like dip it fully into the sauce and then uh, uh, with the skin and the meat. Mm. Mm. Every time I come back home, uh, after a long time, I usually, the first meal for me is always the kao ya. Well, I guess this is also that right now because yes. Guys, I'm really excited to introduce what Jasmine has actually been up to. She only arrived back last night. You've been here, there and everywhere. Can you mm -hmm. let people know what, what's up? Uh, okay, I've been facing Guizhou recently. Well, to be precise, but one that I went together with Amy last year. So I've been there to help to build this place to a better one. And also trying to find some power to myself. Trying to take something that I really want to express and share to you guys. So you've started a channel. Yes. So finally, after years <laughs> of encouragement, finally Jasmine is starting her own channel. So make sure you go and press on Jasmine's account and you follow her. Let's help her get some subscribers. Oh my yeah. gosh. 
So this one is Jasmine's. It's not spicy with less toppings, and here's mine. More spicy with more toppings. Other than that, they're pretty much the same, both packed with strips of this pido pork belly skin, hence the name pido mian. Goodness gracious me, I possibly have never seen such a big bowl of noodles in my actual life. Do you want to compare your face to the bowl? Your face is only a quarter of this bowl. Watch out the sauce. Pido mian is Nanjing's specialty, or is it? Yes, yes, yes. Why is this bowl so big? This is just a normal pido mian. Oh, yes. Yes, you don't want to be big. I'm going to try the soup first. Okay, let's do this. It's really sweet. Ooh, yeah, that's really good, and it is quite spicy. Is Nanjing food spicy in general? Well, not in general, but this store, I don't know. Maybe your spiciness tolerance is getting down. Sorry for that. Whoa! <laughs> oh! <laughs> My heart! She knows how to cut me deep. I just tried a piece of this pedal mm -hmm. inside uh, the noodles that's kind of been like soaking in that in that soup. It's really, really good. Very juicy yeah, it's and really juicy. with the juice. Mm. Okay, let's try some noodles because they look really good. They have a nice resistance to them. They're almost... Al dente. Nanjing Hua, if you say the meat needs to be thick, it means that when it's completely cooked, the meat needs to be thick. Then, like me, I don't like to eat the meat. I just say it's normal meat or the meat needs to be thick. Is this something you can do at restaurants? Like you can ask any noodle restaurant, "Oh, I want my noodle to be softer." Is that something yeah, that I've been missing out on? Because that's how they like boil it longer or shorter. I gotta say, I do love a hard noodle. <laughs> but yeah, this bowl of noodles is absolutely packed with stuff, including tomato, which gives the broth a slight tang, which I really enjoyed. <laughs> and one other thing I've just learned, not only are we eating in a car park, we're eating right in front of a train line. This place is such a vibe. Thanks, Jasmine, for bringing me here. So just calling a cab now. What's the plan? Where are we going now? So our destination would be my high school memory flashback. So here is my high school crossroads. Uh, so you can see here, here actually, here. It's Nanjing Library where I study a lot back to my high school time. And a block further of this library is called 1912. It's a 酒吧街. So I did a lot of my entertainment there to you know hang out with friends and <laughs> having some nice food there. How old were you at the time? Uh, not drink, <laughs> no drink before 18. And here, that orange building is called Quan Ming Jian Shen Zhongxin, which is a big gym that contains a lot of sports there. So I did boxing, I played boxing that time. And also I enjoyed playing billiard myself back to that time. So that's actually gonna be our next activity. Jasmine is taking me to play pool at the entertainment area she mentioned she spent a lot of time in back in the day. Amy, <laughs> challenge invitation. Yes. Do you accept my challenge on Billard? I accept. <laughs> but let's make this interesting. We've got to put Amy. something on the line. Oh yeah, I got one. Mm -hmm. I'll take you to the best bathhouse in my heart in Nanjing tonight. There are bathhouses in Nanjing? Yes, definitely. You need to experience Ooh. that. How about the loser pay for tonight's bathhouse? Okay, there's enough on the line. Okay. Let's play. Let's do it. You want to break the balls? Yeah, sure. Okay. Go for it. Because I don't know how. <laughs> I'm definitely losing. Like, I don't know why I just made that bet. Yeah, this for sure was one of the worst bets I've ever made. While Jasmine was busy cleaning up the table, I was busy cleaning up the inside of my milk tea. I lost, as you can probably guess. So guys, despite I earn a bathhouse experience, but I'm not gonna take you to the bathhouse right away. We'll go for a city walk first. Ooh. I believe you probably heard a lot of city walks in Shanghai or other fancy cities. But today, I'm gonna take you to a Nanjing style city walk. I'm loving the stores around here. We've just been dropped by our taxi, but we have some really cute like bars and cafes. Bakery. It and it's amazing. all blended with the living community here. This combination of old school meeting new school makes this an ideal spot for a city walk. So many unique boutique stores, things to buy, places to window shop, cute dogs everywhere, and of course, things to eat. Oh, oh, this. You're gonna try this. I usually order Wai Mai from this pancake shop, but like, since we're here, you're gonna try it. It's a kind of a pancake, jidan, jidan bing or something, jidan cai bing. It's made by taking the filling of your choice, putting it inside a wheat pancake, an egg is cracked, whisked, then added to the pancake with your filling. It's then wrapped up and left to get all golden and crispy on the outside. We've learned our lesson from this morning. <laughs> Don't order two, order one and share. Yeah. Oh, hot, hot, hot. I 
like how they hang up the clothes here. Yeah, someone's literally just drying their clothes. Yeah. <laughs> but it just adds to the vibe. We're yeah. in this little alleyway here. It, it's really true what you were saying about Nanjing with so many different sides. I feel like, yeah, you can feel that modern nature with all like the, the cafes and the bars, mm -hmm. but then you've got like, you know, this. It has so many faces. Yeah. It smells really good. Eggy inside. We've got some bai tai. Mmm. Mm. How can you... <laughs> yeah, familiar. I'm very good at eating hot things. I found it. Well, it's lower. It's good for your health. Many people are eating because they eat too fast, not because they eat too much. Do you want to say I'm hungry? No. We're not too long before we see you. Did you find out that I'm hungry? No, not at all. I'm not saying you. Oh, it's slightly spicy as well. Mm. It somehow reminds me of an omelette. Because it's quite eggy in there, and you've got all those additions, so it kind of reminds me of the taste of a spicy omelette on toast. Because you've got the bread on the outside, mm -hmm. the egg on the inside, with all of those additions there. Oh, it's so good. I would like this for breakfast. City walk is done. I've had such a great day so far, and the day is only about to get better because we are Hope on like it. our way to a bathhouse, a Yay. Nanjing style bathhouse. So I'm interested com to compare Nanjing style to you know what I've experienced before in mm -hmm. Dongbei mm -hmm. and see what differences there are. First impression, it's very fancy. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. So we have just arrived at the bathhouse. Now I know why you made that bet, Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky little thing. <laughs> this place looks so nice. Do you smell the perfume? I do. Oh my gosh, Jasmine. <laughs> What's the first impression? I spice fancy. Yeah. This is, you took me to some bougie yeah. <laughs> bathhouse. Holy moly. Oh, we have our shoes. Oh, the bangle is so pretty. See, see. Mm -hmm. Now look at that. That's something I'm, I'd be happy to wear. In Shenyang, it's just plastic. It's a jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Very, very nice touch. The shoes are actually. Heated. So you guys know the drill. I can't take you in here because we're, we're about to get naked. And so, so we'll see you on the other side and I'll let you know what we just experienced. One hour later. How was it? I've never felt so smooth. Yeah, so never. they actually have tuozao here and Jasmine's never done it before. So well, I brought I a bit like, of my Dongbei influence. I feel like I was like a fish that was marinated to the wet, red wine. Uh, I feel yeah, like we I had was... red wine um, this time. Last time in Cheyang, I had milk, mm -hmm. and this time I was uh, tuozaoed with um, red wine, which was mm -hmm. lovely. And I feel like I was dirty as hell. And she was like, she answered something like, "Oh, I so that I can get a sense of achievement by like scrubbing a lot of things yeah. down." Yeah. I'm like, okay, then I'll make you happy. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, it was um, it was nice. It did very different from the Dongbei one. I mean, mm -hmm. like, here it gives a very luxurious vibe. I mean, right now we're sitting in like this kind of dining hall. It's all marble and like warm tones. It's very luxurious. Um, and also during our tour, it felt very private. Um, whereas in Dongbei, if you go to the Shenyang one, it's just like a big room of 50 beds. You have all these eyes <laughs> like scrubbing okay. you. It's and like it's, a scrubbing party. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. more like jie di qi, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, but here it's like very lush. And I mean, the products we were using afterwards, like Estee Lauder, Giorgio Armani, like they had all the things um, for like toners, creams. It was, it was nice. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about everything? I feel, yeah, it's, it's luxurious. I feel very rich here. And I'm definitely, it's definitely more expensive as well mm -hmm. than in Dolby. But yeah, I've yeah. officially become a bathhouse board Yeah, bath, I was bathhouse influencer. That. So yeah, please, if you're watching this and you're a bathhouse owner, invite me to a bathhouse. I will let you know what it needs. I've now made, I've been to three bathhouses, okay. so I'm officially an expert. So, uh, what's the deal with all this fruit here? Is that like a so help basically yourself kind of thing? Yeah, it's a fruit buffet here. Free? And then, uh, yeah, all of them are free. But you can order your dinner for extra money. Passion fruit here some oranges, dragon fruit. Now we're getting fancier. Oh, look at the size of this mango. So I have to admit, at first I was like, fruit buffet, it's no all-you-can-eat seafood buffet, but like they have the biggest mangoes I've ever seen in my life. And you just point at what you want and they're just gonna cut it for me. I don't have to do any of the dirty work. He's gonna cut me up a mango right now. Also check out the size of these blueberries. I mean, you can't really see it while they're in the bowl. So here's one on my hand for scale. And for the durian fans out there, you've got that here too. You've got like these little coconuts that you can get open for you and sip yeah. from. Yeah, and the quality is good as well. This is perfect. And to be honest, I'm still full from our noodles earlier today. I mean, 
That was a big bowl. So I'm going to give 10 out of 10 for the fruits. As for the facilities, you've got a cinema, you've got a pool table, no rematches, please. And I heard upstairs there's an awesome infinity pool. So let's go check it out. Check out this infinity pool. Now this is really spectacular. Got a view over the city there. You've got these little, oh, little lounge pods. You don't even have to get wet to enjoy this pool experience. You just come in here, your feet won't get wet. You can just walk on in. That brings us to the end of this beautiful Jasmine POV day Yay. here in Nanjing. And hopefully we don't have to wait too much longer for our next video that we can be together. No, we can't be. Um, but, you know, wishing you well with all your ventures in Thank Guizhou. You. And, and I've got to come and visit. always welcome. Yes, I have to come and visit. And guys, yeah. please, 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 you've been begging for it. Jasmine has finally opened a channel, so go and follow her. I'm going to put on screen here, these are all her handles. Go follow Jasmine, show her su some support thank and you say all. you've come thank from Amy's channel. Lots of thanks to Amy and thank you all. Yay! Well, we will see you next time. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>